السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ہیومن بینگ از دا بیوٹیفل کریشن آف اللہ آن دا سرفیس آف ارتھ ماشاء اللہ اٹ از مرسیز آف اللہ دیٹ وی گاٹ اسپیشل کوڈ آف لائف ان دا فارم آف ہولی قرآن اینڈ سنا الحمد we have a special blessings of allah in the form of best discipline rules regulations lifestyle custom and traditions according to islam but what happened with the passage of time you can see from adam al islam till now the intervention of shaitan and some other creation and the mind trend of human being towards the desires those were coming from nafs from shaitan they tried to follow that one and they deviated from the teachings of prophets alayhi salatu wa salam and then allah sent down more and more prophets to make the situation right and correct the mind of the people rectify their way of life but with the passage of time they went astray again alhamdulillah we got special blessings of allah in the form of rahmatul lil alamin sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and we have now holy quran and sunnah of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam that is giving us every type of law and code and rules regulations to solve each and every problem of our life alhamdulillah this body which we have this is not our body this is allah's own thing this is allah's special blessings that we have been given it we are in it like a person who is living in a rented house we got this one just for the time being then we have to leave it this contract is called life and life is counted it has time and limit like the contract you have uh, you have contract when you stay in the rented house you make a contract for some time 2 years 3 years something like this so this is life it has also a contract with allah and when it will finish then we have to leave this body and we will go back to the real place where we are so the main thing is that how we have to keep this amana according to the teachings of holy prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that is the wording of allah are we following that one you can see many people in the world male and female are they following the teachings of allah are they following what the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said look after this body the dress of the body is it according to islam for the females are they following islam to hide the body completely and fully to make the veil you can see the tight dress of the woman you can see the body of the woman reflecting from the clothes is it islamic way you can see the way of life how they behave with the relatives 
to whom they are allowed to come to whom they are not allowed to come look at them and look at at the veil of islam how it is tortured how it is broken down how it is ripped by our generation and what will happen in future then so we have to look after it and look after this body for which allah said in surah teen surah number 95 allah said in ayat number 4 auz billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim laqad khalaqnal insana fi ahsani taqwim indeed we created human being male and female fi ahsani taqwim in a beautiful composition in a beautiful structure so structure of human being is beautiful how you can see the body of the person and how allah has placed the different uh, organs in it like you can see different type of rings how they are decorated specially with glittering color mashallah and allah has put in human body the eyes nose ears and all the body parts if you look they are beautifully placed in the structure of human being to make it more pretty more nice this way allah said laqad khalaqna al-insana fi ahsan taqwim indeed we created human being in a beautiful composition so we must be thankful to allah because this is the reflection of allah's blessings and mercies upon us and favor to us and you can see this body has been made in a standing form and allah gave us gave authority to every person to follow teachings of islam or not to follow that so this is this depends on the desire of the person this way a person who bow down himself or herself before allah that person is muslim mashallah and the person who stands like that like the shaitan was standing when allah said bow down before adam alai salam in sajda he was standing there so those people are in that category so who, those people they are not to bother about what is the teachings of islam but the people who became muslim they are just to look at completely and fully they have to do everything what is in quran or sunnah and what is the limitation of sharia they have to be stay in that boundary muslim is not free there is no freedom in islam we have to stay in a prison in a boundary this is prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the life of a mu'min life of a person with iman is like a life as in, in a prison in this world and life of kafir the kuffar the non muslims that is free because they are not in a boundary they are free they have freedom freedom is not for the muslim because they are under a under the limitations under the category like you can see the boundary so this is the this is like a prison so this is a moment the iman person with iman is always in prison so we have to follow the teachings of quran and sunnah in order to make our life more beautiful according to allah's command so that is very important and if we are not following then uh, automatically you can see then people who are by name muslim but they are following the lifestyle custom traditions and uh, they have made their life according to the 
way of munafiqeen way of those people who are away from islam so and then they will get up with them from their graves and will be at the day of judgment with them man tashabbaha qauma fa huwa minhu prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam also said so these people who who made the, their life similar to other people they will be with them even if you are in love someone you will get up from your grave with those people also this is very important for us that this body is amana for us and we have to look after it completely and fully because at the day of judgment when we will be before allah allah will will say to the body parts to tell about this person what he has done with you the tongue will be, tongue will be closed and the other body parts will say like the legs will say that this person made me to do sexual evil stealing theft dakat this person has made me uh, to go to do something wrong so so many things so what the person has done with the legs the legs will tell tell the allah and the feet and legs they will tell to allah same like that this in modern time you know many people in young you know when they are young they use their skin for the sexual purpose for different purpose for kissing for different things the skin will say to allah at the day of judgment that these people they in order to take the lust of their love lust of their enjoyment they used me deviating from the rules regulation of you o allah so then what will be your answer because your body parts are at the day of judgment they will be uh, talking with allah and uh, they will be witness against you ears will say that this person he or she was listening the uh, uh, backbiting and slandering and uh, so many wrong things which were abusing which were not good in islam this person was listening those things even the music and those other things which were not allowed and the eyes will say that this person has seen a lot of things even the naked pictures and every time from uh, when it was the prayer time the salah time this person was just to look at those things on the mobile on a tablet on on ipad but leaving the salah leaving the reciting holy quran following the quran or sunna this person wasted his life in those things which were not allowed even the young people they spend their time in the games playing games or on social media making friends and making their life abusable and bad so this will be their because allah's two angels are on your shoulders they are recording everything they are writing whatever you are doing at the day of judgment your register when you will die your register of deeds will finish and will be will be booked and will be handed over to allah at the day of judgment that will come out and open before the people also and you are what have you done then it is allah's will allah may hide whatever you have done or allah may open before the people also to people you know so many people there from adam alayhi salam to prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam at the end of this world and if you are your position if it become open before other people and what will happen what will be the what type of face you will have that time before the people when whatever you have done those will be tell, told before the people so this is the point of understanding point of shame what we have done we have to do toba astaghfar come back to allah and be a good person so this is very important understand this this house like this body 
लाइक ए रेंटेड हाउस यू स्टे हियर फॉर सम टाइम लाइक ए पर्सन हु इज द ओनर ऑफ द हाउस ही अलाउज यू टू स्टे इन दैट हाउस विच इज रेंटेड यू हैव टू फॉलो द रूल्स रेगुलेशन ऑफ दैट पर्सन यू हैव टू यूज द थिंग्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द कंडीशन वॉट द पर्सन हैज सेड सो दिस इज दिस इज द बॉडी दिस ओन्ड बाई अल्लाह एंड अल्लाह रूल्स रेगुलेशन विल बी अप्लाइड ऑन इट टू यूज इट अकॉर्डिंग टू द रूल्स रेगुलेशन ऑफ अल्लाह वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट देन वी विल बी कॉल्ड द स्लेब ऑफ अल्लाह अदरवाइज वी विल बी कॉल्ड स्लेब ऑफ शैतान तो दिस इज द पॉइंट वी हैव टू कीप इन माइंड एंड द अदर थिंग विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट एट द डे ऑफ जजमेंट वेन अल्लाह विल ओपन आवर डीड्स वी हैव नो एनी एक्सक्यूज सो हियर इन दिस वर्ल्ड अल्लाह लाइकड ओनली रूल्स रेगुलेशन द वे ऑफ लाइफ द लाइफ स्टाइल दैट इज इन इस्लाम दिस वे अल्लाह लव एंड लाइक इस्लाम एंड ऑल अदर वे ऑफ लाइफ अल्लाह डिसक दिस वे अल्लाह सेड क्लियरली इन होली कुरान इन न दीना इन द लाह इस्लाम सो द फेवरेट रिलीजन बिफोर अल्लाह इज इस्लाम सो दिस वे अल्लाह लव इट अल्लाह लाइक इट एंड द पर्सन हु लव अल्लाह हु लाइक अल्लाह दैट पर्सन विल फॉलो इस्लाम ऑल्सो बिकॉज इट हैज बिन कम्पलीटेड इस्लाम स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम आदम अल इस्लाम एंड कम्पलीटेड बाई होली प्रॉफिट सल्लाम दिस वे अल्लाह सैड एंड होली कुरान अल योमा अकमल तो लकुम दीनो कुम व अतम तो अलई कुम ने मती व रली तो लकुम उल इस्लाम दीना सो इस्लाम हैज बिन कम्पलीटेड नाउ इन द फॉर्म ऑफ होली कुरान एंड सुना एंड वी हैव नाउ अलहमद लाला and we have to follow it completely this is the blessings of allah and one person who went to the hajj and he was reciting dua alhamdulillah ala ni'matil islam wa kafa biha min ni'mati so so when when he went the next year again to perform hajj and uh, that time he was trying to read again that dua alhamdulillah ala ni'matil islam wa kafa biha min ni'mati that person heard dear the sound that that was the sound of the angels and they said still we are writing the reward of that dua this type of dua which you have done last year so this is the special blessings of allah when you will be thankful to allah allah will give more reward and that reward is uncountable like you can read in surah ibrahim also when allah said you will when you will be more thankful to me allah will give you so much more so this is the blessings of allah so be thankful to allah and get rewards so much الحمد لله على نعمة الإيمان وكفى بها من نعمتي الحمد لله على نعمة الإسلام وكفى بها من نعمتي الحمد لله رب العالمين على كل حال remember allah with thanks you will get the rewards so much rewards uncountable very important and this life is very short we have to understand when when we accepted islam mostly the problem is coming the problem is coming in our generation they understand that we are muslim but it is not you know it is not to say that if you have been born in the house of muslim you are muslim because mostly we have seen the mom and dad they are by name muslim only because now many people i have seen and they are by name because mom goes for work dad goes to work 
and they come late and no prayer no salah no reciting holy quran and uh, and children they are just before internet ipad and mobile phone and they are there so and uh, they think that we are muslim because we 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 have been born in the muslim house but this is not the children and everyone every muslim even if we have been born in the muslim house we must recite holy holy quran we must recite shahada again ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh we must recite it we must understand the meaning of it and then we must understand what iman amanta billahi kama huwa bi asma'ihi wa sifatihi wa qabiltu jami'a ahkamihi ikrarun bil lisani wa tasdiqun bil qalb so this is wa qabiltu jami'a ahkamihi when a person say i i accepted all the commands o allah i accept all of them ikrarun bil lisani i confirm with my tongue wa tasdiqun bil qalb and also i certify them with my heart and that becomes iman and stay in the heart and then heart is the main organ to control the body this way all the body parts they have to follow the command of allah because you said qabil to jamia ahkam hi ikrarum bil lisani wa tasdiqum bil qalb that is in your in your heart and then all of your body parts they have to follow the limits of islam they must stay in it our young generation they don't know it what are the limits of islam what are the boundaries of islam they want everything just like the freed freedom like the kufar they follow them and they understand we are free in this world but we are not free we have boundaries everywhere so this way otherwise when you are doing some sinful acts mostly in like different type of sinful act prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that iman goes away when a person is suffering in that like in sexual evils when you are in that so your iman goes away so when the iman goes away you are just wandering without iman just a title muslim like a drum inside is hollow nothing without iman so this is the situation we have to look after our iman if we have no iman we must do tauba astighfar because tauba astighfar brings back iman and uh, then alhamdulillah we are again on right track then we have to look after follow the teachings of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the form of holy quran and sunnah then we must stay under the sharia limits mashallah it will be fine then then there will be no problem at all so we have to follow this one and even you can see uh, we say you know in this world the people love different things you also love something also but if you have iman then the love changed the direction of the love changed it changes how it changes because allah said automatically wallazina amanu ashaddu hubban lillah automatically this comes in the person's heart the love of allah too much because ashaddu hubban lillah so much love comes in the heart of the person when iman is there so that love is love of allah and also love of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam because prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam also said that your iman will not be completed until unless you love me more than your children than your parents than your other things of the world when your love is supreme of all with me then your iman will be completed so the love of allah and love of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam it completes our iman so when you are in love with allah and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and you follow islam completely and fully protect your iman 
and then keep your organs of the body moving according to the limits of sharia then alhamdulillah you are the blessed person on the surface of the earth and if you are deviating you are just to follow your own desires with the tradition trend of the people with the instruction hidden through shaitan and then if you are blindly following the those one and fast fashion lifestyle of kufar automatically you are cheating with allah and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said man ghasha falaysa minna a person who cheat is not from us it mean that person will not be included in the umma of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam so this is the point because those people who are without iman those people are like the dead bodies moving on the surface of the earth so this is very important the message of quran and sunna of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and those people who deviates and allah said summa radadnahu asfala safilin and these people they will go to the bottom of the earth if you look at the 14 parts of the earth they will be at the bottom of that slowly slowly when they enter in islam they were very good but with the passage of time when they followed the shaitan and got the company of bad people and then they followed the custom and traditions of other religion and they followed the fashion and lifestyle of those people who were not muslim and who were whose life was having freedom in every year so when they followed the custom and tradition and lifestyle of those people so they cheated allah and they got their life to away from the real teaching of islam and from sirat mustaqim and they have gone to the bottom of the earth allah said summa radadnahu asfala safilin and but if you look at the other people who were not having greed of this world they were not selfish not having proudness not having pretending and show off and not with the lust of sex and lust of uh, eating and other things and not to uh, connected with the uh, drugs and uh, and the other abuses so they were just to sincere with allah those people are the best people and allah said for them illa allazina amanu wa amilu salihati falahum ajrun ghairu mamnun illa allazina amanu but those people who are with iman wa amilu salihati and they are doing good deeds falahum ajrun they have their rewards ghair mamnun and they, their rewards is unfinished uncountable reward they will have so this way you try to be good person leave the leave all type of custom traditions fashions lifestyle of kufar and bring back the custom traditions and lifestyle of islam and be a nice person do toba astaghfar request allah for forgiveness inshallah you will be the best person on the surface of the earth and try to be good and if you are a woman you have to look at your body look at your veil and and you have to follow the limits of islam teachings of islam inshallah we will continue to tell you more and you try to be good listen 
good things and it is better if you have to start learning islam completely and fully read holy quran and also sunnah of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam understand the sharia limits and stay in that allah give us tawfeeq ameen